It takes wisdom to have a good marriage, not prayer. Prayer is a bonus. There are people in the world that have been married for a long time because they understand the system. They understand the commitment. They understand what happens, what needs to be done. Christians, we have over-spiritualized everything that we can't maintain, something that the world can maintain. If the world can maintain something, and you're struggling to maintaining it and you're blaming it on Jezebel, Your husband says, move closer at night. I'm tired. You just allow Jezebel to come into your house. I, I don't feel like I've just been very tired. I've just been. You're abusing this man. I love what Dr. Miles Monroe said. He said, men don't want sex. Men need. If you are married, that's part of the deal. Whether you like it, you don't like it. Where are my brothers? Where are my brothers? Hallelujah! Where? Hallelujah! Can I talk to some married men in the house? It is what it is. It's the truth. Let me just tell you the truth. I, I know I'm talking about the satisfaction of the soul, but I'm, let me tell you the truth. Do you realize about 90% of marital problems are sex? Listen, I do counseling of a lot of people I know. 90% of it is sex. Thank you. Apostle, my bishop, say it please. Let the spirit lead you. You're preaching. It's the truth. Most of these problems are there because you are not intimate with your spouse. Sex was not just created for pleasure. It was created for bonding. It was created for bonding. When you were in the beginning, you were bonding. You started having children, building a life. You forgot about bonding. And then you're wondering why you're arguing all the time. I always say this. Your children were the fruit of that love. They are not the center of that love. If you make that child the center of it, you have idolized them. And you have destroyed the institution of God. It doesn't mean our children are not important. But they are not as important as the two of you. I wish I got better claps. Maybe I'm being appreciated somewhere else. If you're married, have lots of sex. It will change your marriage. Amen. Hello. Hello. Where are my married folk? Please wave your hands. Hallelujah. If a husband wants to lay with his wife, she says no. If she wants it and he says no, they have, am I not beautiful enough? Am I not, not this enough? It breaks them. It destroys a woman. But it's easy to do it to the man because we are expected to be strong. Then when some, some sugar baby with a demon shows up with a Jezebel and he feels validated, you start saying the devil came after my marriage. No, it is you. He married you. And you failed to fulfill your part. Let me, let me keep my mouth shut. I'll get myself in trouble. Somebody shall fire, yeah, 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 yeah. fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. 